it has been a while since I did a random creature design. If you're new to my channel and don't know what that is, it is a challenge sort of where I pick out three random animals or I, I pick it from a random jar of uh, suggestions that I've gotten before and I mash those animals together and I create a random creature design and it's kind of like creating a fake Pokemon or a random uh, fantastical beast I guess and I really love it but I hadn't realized how how long since the last time I did it was um, I think the last time I did one of my creature designs was summer yeah summer so half a year so that's that's quite a long time it's long overdue we're doing another one <laughs> let's get started oh hey wow you remember this it's been a while and yes i have removed the spider that you could see in the last one time i did this <laughs> <laughs> but I am ready to finally do some new uh, random creature design and I'm pretty excited because I haven't done it in a while and I might even do it digitally. Who knows, I'm going to start sketching it anyway on paper so you'll get a little bit of everything. Anyway, let's choose three, whoop, this is not going to be a draw with me I think. <laughs> because I am light, I'm focusing on writing the snowcat prints and I have a lot of things to do. Anyway. Ferret is the first animal. Ferret, yay! I like ferrets, that's gonna be really cool. And the next one is. Silicia. <laughs> Wait, how? Silicia is. is, is uh, no. Donkey! Pretty much. That's cool. I think we can do something fun with that. <laughs> Maybe some kind of animal that actually carries, carries people or things. Maned wolf! Yay! The donkey and the maned wolf, I feel like, almost is similar. Is that weird? Is that weird that I connect those two? Anyway, this is actually a really cool setup for a very cool creature, I think. I'm going to bring my sketchbook in and we're gonna do some sketches. Actually, no, first, <laughs> I think we need some references. Okay, I love ferrets. They're so cute, but I don't want one because they're stinky. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we need some... Seas... Sicilian. There we go. I got it. Hey. Donkey. Oh, they're miniature. I didn't know that. I just like donkeys. Alright, next one. Main... Main... Wolf. Oh, I didn't write that right. Wolf. Alright, I have some references. Here's the main wolf, the donkey, and the ferret. It's gonna be a really cute animal, I can tell. Let's do some sketching. Let's see. The face of the ferret. I quite like because it's really cute. The thing is that we have a really cute <laughs> cute animal, the ferret, with a really long body and quite short legs. And then we have <laughs> we have the main wolf with like giant legs. I'm not sure what I want to go with. But I also always go for the cute animals, so maybe I should do something that isn't cute, you know? A little bit more rugged. The neck crest of the main fox. Designing the creature, I actually realized that I wanted to go in a more cute way. Um, you can see to the right that I actually tried a bit more of a rugged kind of creature that I was thinking I could put some weights or some backpacks on his back but it, it looked like some other creatures that I've done before like Carl and Bruce and I thought well it's been a while since I've done the cute style animals so let's just make the main part of the animal a ferret. 
Moving over to my iPad, I used the sketch that I did on my sketchbook as a base or like a root <laughs> to my design, uh, but I did change quite a few things including the pose just to get something a little bit more interesting than just what I did on the paper and I think it turned out a lot cuter. I am using a iPad Pro, it's two years old, I'm not sure what generation that is, and I'm using an Apple Pencil and working in Procreate. I absolutely love this app, I haven't been able to move over to any other drawing app, so I will just keep with this one. When I design creatures, I always like to think of them in different kind of poses. I haven't done this in a while and I was excited to actually bring in some secondary poses into this design. So I drew him kind of really cutely sleeping as I found a picture of a ferret sleeping like that. And I thought this, this needs to go in the drawing and a few other just cute details that I thought it would be fun to include in the page. I also tried experimenting a little bit with my camera angles, so I hope you guys are enjoying both the screen recording and me drawing from various different angles. I kept these sketches quite rough, I didn't want to clean them up that much anyway, so I just did a little bit and then moved on to the line art. When it comes to line art, I usually use the Procreate HP pencil that they have in the app already. Um, it's under sketching, I'm pretty sure, and it's just a really nice textured brush. I also have a brush that I kind of tweaked from that one to be a little bit more loose. Um, I will link the link to the uh, in the description of the brushes that I have and you can just download it for free if you want to use them. Um, that includes the sketching brush that I use for my sketching in Procreate. I think inking in Procreate is probably my favorite. It's just It just feels so natural to sit there and ink my little creature and uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying the process at this point. I am probably going to repeat myself quite a few times from other videos that I've done, but it's been such a long time since I did one of these videos, so I'll just repeat myself. Things that I keep in mind when I design creatures are how to kind of blend them seamlessly together with using certain animals as the main bunch or chunk <laughs> of the creature, and then putting other elements from the other animals into that chunk, if that makes sense. So for this little creature, I actually used the ferret as the main kind of chunk of the creature and then I think the fox is the second largest and then the donkey is just a little bit of a hint here and there. Just It just didn't fit to kind of blend it that well together with the other ones. So for the face, I kept the ferret-like appearance, but I gave him more a, of a donkey nose because I find them incredibly cute. I think I use them way too much when I do creature design, but I, I just like how they look. And then for the ears, I obviously used the fox because they're giant and they were just so fluffy and I thought it would be amazing to put that in. For the body, it's mostly the ferret. It's a long, little fat body and I thought it was adorable. Um, I put in the mane from the fox and I also made the mane go into a, kind of a stripe on his shoulder that is similar to the one that the donkey has and I thought that was a cute little input into a normal ferret looking body. Um, his feet are ferret and his tail is a donkey. I can kind of just see this creature being a lap creature that likes to play. It's kind of like a cat in my head. It, it, it's just really cute and independent and wants to cuddle but also wants to play and bite you. So it's a it's a very good mix of the animals. I guess the main is a little bit of the donkey as well but I, I mostly looked at the fox when I came to giving him that nice little fluff on his back. For the colors, I wasn't completely sure what to do. I know I love the copper red color of the um, the wolf. Well, the wolf. I think I've been calling it a fox. Wait, 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 wait. It's a maned wolf actually, but it's not a wolf or a fox. Anyway, I like that color, but I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to use it completely. So I kind of well, I mainly used the the, the wolf, the, the fox colors. Um, but I also brought in a few of the the light colors of the donkey and the ferret. 
I especially like the fade that I was trying to get on his face from light to the reddish copper because that's kind of what the donkeys look like and I thought it was a really cute little fade or change of color on his face. And after a little bit more shading and a little bit more detail, I would say he is done. Now, I would love to see what kind of combination you would make out of a ferret, a Sicilian donkey and a maned wolf. I would love to see what you would come up with, so please tag me on Instagram or Twitter and just say creature design or random creature design and I would love to have a look at what you can come up with. Anyway, I do need a name for this guy, so please comment that down below. That is it for this video. I hope you guys liked my random creature design. I know it is digital and not um, traditional like I've done a lot before, but I just felt like doing it digital. I've been feeling a bit digital lately, so that's what happened. Anyway, uh, if you want more sneak peeks of anything that I do behind the scenes instead of just one video a week, you can look at my sketches of fun th things. You can go to my Patreon, which I will link here so you can find it and um yeah that's that's about it if you want to also i got a new computer so if you want to watch me stream go to twitch and follow me there it's dinner and anywhere so you'll find me easy enough i'll see you next week Bye bye